Hey everyone, this is uh, Pete from Talentbin. I just want to give you a quick demo of a really awesome new feature that we just shipped that's going to make search within your Talentbin all the more awesome. Um, what it comes down to is it's a faceted advanced search that lets you search in a kind of more structured way um, against a variety of fields um, for all the profiles in our Talentbin. So really quick, I'm going to set, show you how this works by doing a, uh, you know, a demo rack here in um, <clears throat> in my demo talent bin. So I'm going to create a new rec. And as you can see what this is going to do, this is going to take me to my um, the new guided search interface here, where you can see that we have a variety of new fields whereby I can build um, a, set of, uh, a set of queries that helps me um, find exactly the people that I'm looking for. The first thing you can see here is the select field. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just like usual, uh, I'm going to filter by skill initially because that's where talent bin really shines. In this case, I'm going to put um, Ruby and as you can see, it gives me some nice type of heads that I can add. Then I can actually add other, um, other keywords here as well. Um, you do one kind of keyword per uh, field here. And really what this is doing is this is adding or so in this case I'm saying hey I want to see any profile that has Ruby on Rails ROR or ROR or Ruby for instance here um, so that's how that works and then so for instance what I could also do is say if you had a requirement where the person just has to know scripting languages you could put all these Ruby keywords and then maybe you could also put something like Python right if you were happy that for them to know Python or for them to know PHP Right, as long as they had some sort of scripting experience, um, you'd be happy with that. You could actually do that all throughout here. I'm going to remove these right now, but that's one way that you could do this. Um, then if you wanted to add a separate required skill, you could do that as well. So say, for instance, I wanted to have somebody who has experience with Ruby on Rails and the Sinatra development framework and, oops, um, and for instance, I wanted them to have experience with jQuery. Right, this is my, my kind of my my unicorn purple squirrel engineer that I'm looking for here. Um, then let's say I want to go ahead and constrain down the geography. I can do that too. So um, we actually have two types of way of handling geography. There are what are known as location tags, um, which are really just recruiting basins like the SF Bay area <clears throat> or the Los Angeles area, and these include all of the cities around there. So say, for instance, I wanted to do the SF Bay Area. I wanted to find anyone who was on the West Coast, for instance. I could do that. I could do the Seattle area. Um, there's a list of these available under the advanced search tips. Um, say I want to do Los Angeles area as well. But then say that I also wanted to find you know, folks in San Diego or even Orange County. Um, yeah, I believe that we don't have Orange County in here. So I could do something like the biggest city in Orange County is Santa Ana. Or I could add Irvine, um, and then these are so these are individual cities. So even if we don't have a recruiting basin for the location in question, you can still add those. Um, you can still add those uh, dot those geographies right there. Um, there are other ones as well. For instance, if you wanted to limit it, you know, put company and make sure that the person had worked in a certain company, or even if you just wanted to search for somebody by name. Um, or a certain role like you know software engineer or site reliability engineer. For our purposes right here, I'm just going to stick with this. So when I run this search, it's going to take all these different terms. Essentially, it's looking for show me people with Ruby on Rails and Sinatra and jQuery and in any of these locations right here. And it brings back all these, uh, all these various folks here. Um, so these are essentially my 600 candidates that I would want to go after. I can also save this search off and I can call this you know, Ruby, Sinatra, jQuery, West Coast, for instance. And I'll save this off. And now when I come back to my rec here, um, I have this save off. So when I come back, I'm ready to rock on, uh, on this. I can still do traditional Boolean. In fact, if I wanted to show this query, um, in basic search, it will actually do that for me. So maybe I, if I wanted to hack around in the in the in the boolean, um, I can uh, I can certainly do I can certainly do that. However, the whole idea around guided search is that it makes it a lot easier to um, you know it makes it a lot easier for folks to build these nice complex queries in a way that's straightforward for them. We hope you like it. Look forward to your feedback.